What's going on everyone? Papa Bear here with another painting tutorial on how I painted my non-metallic metal silver for my Grey Knight armies that helped me win Best Painted Army at the Nova Open 2017. Alright, so if you want to purify that chaos scum with style like a pimp, pay attention and I'm going to show you how. Alright everybody, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually teach you how to paint non-metallic metal silver like I did on my Grey Knight Army. All right, so the colors that you're gonna need, you're only gonna need four of them. You're gonna need intermediate blue, glacier blue, black, and white. Those are the only four colors you need, however, there are a lot of layers. All right, so what I like to do first is I paint everything in steps, but in sections. All right, so what I'll do is I'll mix up my paints, just like this. Bam. Just mixed out the paints for you. So, the way I mixed them out was, damn Zane being one of the dogs. The way I mixed them out was the first one is actually a mixture of one part intermediate blue, two parts black. The second one is one part intermediate blue, one part black. The third one is two parts intermediate blue, one part black. This one is just straight intermediate blue. And this is what I like to call your halfway point. All right, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, your fifth one is a combination of three parts intermediate blue, one part white. This is a one-to-one -one mix of intermediate blue and white. And this is a two-to-one mix of two parts white, one part intermediate blue. That's what you have for your basic armor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna paint one leg right now. So you can kind of see how I do it. All right, let's focus in on this bad boy. Um, now what I'm going to do is I want to make it to where it looks like it's just shining right in the middle. So what I'll do is I'll take my first color and I'll paint it and I'll leave the edges black. If you get some on the inside where the words are, that's okay because eventually we're going to have to recover that and repaint it. Go right here, paint the inside, and I'm gonna do the top of the knee also. All right. Once you got that down, your second part, what you're gonna do is you're gonna paint it almost to the edge of your first color. Just like that. All right. Now you're going to go third color. Go right up to the edge of where you painted your third color. Leave it a little bit showing. Now you can feather this in if you want to. Um, I'm not right now. I usually do it on my models but it would take this a lot longer to do. But I wouldn't recommend it until you learn the basics of how to make these colors work for you. All right. All right. 
So now we're going to go to the halfway point, kind of. So you're going to take just straight intermediate blue, and you're going to leave some of the last transition. Okay. Just like this. Same on the top. All right. Now what we need to do is go into our first one, make sure with some white. And just like before, you want to leave a little bit of that intermediate blue showing. And once again, if you feather it in, it will be a smoother transition. You can actually glaze it a little bit too and it will help um, bring your colors together. Make sure that the kneecap is the same distance, like that. All right. Now, if you look at it, all I'm doing is I'm just kinda blending them in, all right? So, now we've got the first one, we'll do our second mixture with white. And guess what? We're leaving a little bit of our last one showing. Okay, it's starting to get nice and tiny. Now, what I meant about your intermediate blue being the middle one, if you want it shinier, then you need to have less transitions uh, with these three. And this one needs to be a little bit further back. If you want it darker, then you need to have more transitions and less transitions of this. So let me finish up right here. Kind of add a second coat. All right. Looking good so far. Now we're going to go with our last coat. And then we're just going to put it right down the middle. Leaving a little bit of your last one showing. Okay. Just like that. All right, so let's take a look at what we've done so far. As you can see, kind of already has a good little blend to it. It'll look better when we do our final two highlights. Like I said before, it'll never look right until you get your first two highlights. So let me do the front of the thigh and the foot, and then I'm going to show you the highlights. All right, let me get back here again. And focus in right there. All right, so I am going to burn through these this foot real quick. And I'm going to paint the thigh too while we're at it. All right, now, if you notice, this is the lightest part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the lightest part up here, right in the middle of his thigh, coming down. And I'll go right about here. All right. And then I'll put a little bit, turn this bad boy upside down, a little bit on the inside, and it's going to be right about there all right yes I like my brush all right second coat actually I'm gonna need this to dry a little bit all right 
All right, now that that first layer is dried, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and put on the second layer, like that. But I'm actually gonna come up here and the middle part is gonna be going alongside there also. It's better if I turn it upside down here. Paint it better. Alright, and I'm gonna paint it all the way this way. Just like so. And then I want a little bit of light to shine right in between his leg and the tavern. All right, looking good so far. Okay, love you. She's in the bed? Okay. All right, so my third color want to make sure I come up here and bring it just like that and I'm gonna kind of bring the toe up a little bit more like that so I'm gonna flip them upside down just because it's easier to paint this part and I'm going to go to the highest right here. And I want some light. So I'm going to bring it right about here. Okay. Now it's time for the normal intermediate blue. Okay, it's about half of it, so the other half should be the three colors before. I like bringing the toe up a little bit here. That way it shows a little bit more of a shine. Much respect to all the painters out there that do it on live stream. This is extremely difficult not to get my ugly mug in the picture and try to get closer to painting this thing. Alright, so I'll flip it upside down again. And I'll start painting right here. And it goes to about the halfway point. I don't have to be quiet. I'm, I'm going to voice over this. And then right there. Perfect. All right. Now. Bone a little bit. And make sure it looks good. All right. Now I'm going to start with my white highlights. Well, the mixtures with white. there definitely on the toe because that's what's going to be bringing out a lot of the, the color
Take a little uh, monster break. And we're going to go for our our second white combo highlight. So what this is going to do is just kind of Oops, got a little bit on there. Brighten it up a little bit. Definitely put it on the toes. And I'll even put a little bit right there. And right there. Okay. Flip it upside down because it's easier for me to paint that way. With this area. And I'm going to paint right here. Starting to look a little shiny, a little shiny, but it's really going to bling when we get our final two highlights down, okay? So we're going to do our last layer for this silver. All right. I'm going to try to put this last one right in the middle here, top part of his foot. Um, that way, it kind of goes with that. Definitely put it on the toe. Right here. All right. Flip it upside down. And of course, do your final one. All right, that's what's going to look like first um, before you start to actually do your highlight. Um, all you're seeing is just your basic uh, base coat of it. So let's start highlighting a little bit. All right, what you need to do is get your glacier blue. A little bit of glacier blue on your palette. Oh crap. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, looks like I could paint an army with that. All right. Then you want to put a little bit of white. All right. Paint control will save you money. All right. I'll take my number three. One's a Newton brush. And basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to line highlight all the parts of the armor with Glacier Blue. Okay. Just like that. Now even though I'm going to color that little circle on his thigh a different color, I'm still going to paint around that circle. Just like so. All right. Looks good so far. See that I probably need to paint a little bit more the last layer right here to make it pop. Alright. Now that you've highlighted, line highlighted the areas that you want to do, is you're going to do your extreme highlight. Now this is just pure white, and you're only going to do it sparingly on the highest points or what you want to exaggerate in your light. So Take a little bit of white. Obviously, I have some here. Put it right there. Put a dab right there. Like 
esto. Put a dab right there. I always try to put a dab on the corners too, just to kind of showcase it a little bit. The one in the corner. I'm gonna paint around some of the stuff that may have gotten a little bit on it. All right. Isa, come on. Come on, Isa. And there we go. Isa. That's how I painted my non metallic metal. I'll take some pictures of it and you can see what it looks like when it's fully done. Uh, don't get discouraged because right now it may look a little plain, but when you get other colors into it, it'll really. Really, really, really pop. There you have it, how I painted my non-metallic metal silver that helped me win Best Painted Army in the Nova Open 2017 and also Best Painted Army in the Warzone Atomic Empire and a few other tournaments that I've attended. So if you want to purify and cleanse in the name of the Emperor, looking shiny and new, keep practicing these tips, keep practicing this combo until you get it right. Don't get discouraged. You're not going to learn it overnight. Just keep on practicing. If you like this tutorial and you want to see more, please like, share, subscribe, share with your friends, tell everybody uh, what I'm about, what I'm trying to do, and then I can get some more content out for y'all, okay? All right, well, until next time, stay true, keep grinding.